So in the year 1520, Martin Luther wrote an essay called The Freedom of a Christian. And in that essay, he says, a Christian is perfectly free, Lord of all. Because we are set free in God's grace, we don't have to earn our salvation. We don't have to prove to God that we are worthy of this gift. We are perfectly free. And at the same time, he says, a Christian is a perfectly free servant of all. And so this freedom that we experience, that we have through Christ in our faith, is not for its own sake, not freedom for freedom's sake, but it is freedom to serve. As we have received this gift from God, we want to gift others. As we, as we have been blessed, we want to bless others. As we have been given, we want to give to others. Uh, and so there's a lot of conversation in our culture about freedom and the extents of our freedom and, uh, and a tension between individual freedoms and the common good uh, and who can exercise certain freedoms and who can't. It is part of um, the American, it's part of our American history. It's part of our American ethos to push and pull against uh, freedom and individual freedom and common responsibility. So this is something that comes up again and again and again in our own individual lives and also in our culture and the way we understand freedom. And so Luther says that we are free, but not free for our own sake. We are free for the sake of others. And so the exercise of freedom is always about making others free. It's about extending the freedom that we ourselves have received from God to others who do not know or experience or have those same freedoms themselves.